This is DNA Dance Group at the Barbican Theatre, 1994.
experimenting with ideas of wrestling um, over the past like, six months. And it was basically kind of a, we had a play and a toy with wrestling and experimenting with different moves like body slams and stuff. Um, and basically in the past few weeks we've been stringing it together in some sort of structured form. And we sort of performed that tonight. Um, and we used that as a basis to like, there's probably about half an hour material when that eight minute thing. We've just got to like stretch it out a bit and pad it out. Um, hopefully we'll be sort of touring in September time. Um, and and we'll, um, we'll start. We'll start Plymouth. Hopefully, Exeter, Torquay, um, and when in a couple of years, when it really gets to the ground, we start getting funding and money. Uh, we'll sort of start moving it up the line. Um, maybe size London and stuff. It's just like getting the money really to do that with. Um, no, I'm at college in Torquay doing a, a performing arts course, and this is like a part-time thing. But as soon as I leave there, I want to go on to this all time. Um, I think if it gets off the ground. And what wrestling and stuff. Well, yes. we, we sat down and we were talking one night and we just said, uh, isn't it, someone mentioned, isn't it funny how, like, the American scene with wrestling, it's really over the top and you've got these big wrestling promoters. It's like, really like, we're going to get you, Mr. Perfect, all that kind of stuff. And we thought, well, let's sort of, like, take the piss out of that slightly. So we uh, started watching wrestling tapes, taking off Sky and stuff and watching hours and hours of it. Then picking up, like, sort of looking at some of the moves and sort of develop developing it so it became more sort of dance rather than, like, just wrestling trying to find a happy medium in between dance and wrestling. Um, and basically, uh, we, we want characters as well. We're trying to sort of like form our own characters, like there's like things like Mr. Perfect and Hulk Hogan and stuff. We want our own sort of, um, sort of like little traits and stuff that we can do on stage. And like, how, it's much, good. how much time do you find to rehearse? Um, we rehearse once or twice a week for two hours, um, Tuesday, Thursday nights. So it's not a lot, but once I leave college and like people leave their other people in the company leave their jobs, and we can like focus on this as a full-time thing. Talking. Like we want to do a technical uh, warm up every day and get, you know, do the proper research. And everything. It's just a bit. Everyone's got their own thing at the moment. So it's quite hard. Do you find it easy to learn the routines? Um, personally, they do. I mean, they've had a lot more training than I have. I've been technically trained, but I sort of tend to sort of copy really. Um, but I keep getting told I need to put on weight because I find that the lifts hard sometimes. But I'm quite struggling with them. I need to like eat lots and like start weights and stuff on a bit of weight, really. But yeah, quite easy to learn once you just go over and go over them again. Um, and it would help with the musician for the musical cues we know what we're doing when we're doing stuff. Okay, that's great. Okay. Yeah, can you give me your name again and then when I, I uh, check from Tuesday night? Right, uh, Vince Manor. Vince. Yeah. Have you got anybody? Do you live in Torquay? No, I live here. I commute every day. Oh, camera, so I my friend lives in Torquay, Steve. You've got to give us a call. Right. I used to live here. Huh? It's got long hair. the court in fashion. Thanks to DNA, the team of 94, and also thanks to Plymouth Barbican Theatre. Thanks also to my crew of 1994 and Plymouth College of Art and Design. This has been a Chris Summerfield video production, Remix 2017. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com, and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can PayPal me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's a lifestyle thing. Be who you want to be.